I uh, recently set up an email account. Uh, I was trying to tell my trying to tell my grandpa how uh, how it works. I was trying to show him, you know, this is my email and this is how the internet this is how the internet works and this is my email to my grandpa. And I was telling him about you know my inbox. I said I get a lot of email and lots of stuff coming in. Most of it's just spam. He got all interested. <laughs> I said, yeah, I just get a lot of spam in my mail. What? They're sending you spam in your mailbox? I said, yeah, I just, I get a whole bunch of it and I have to keep throwing it away, trashing it, junking it. You're throwing the spam in the junk? I said, no, it, it's not real spam. That's what they call it. It's just, it's just junk mail. Well, it's not junk to me. You bring it over here, and I'll eat it. <laughs> Feed it to your kids, too. Yeah. yeah, man, spam. Spam mail. Killing. Um, have you guys been following the election? Like, uh, Barack Obama, John McCain, DNC was this past weekend. Man, can you believe that? Barack Obama might be the first African-American president. Man. What's it gonna be like? What's it gonna be like when a real Indian goes into office there, like him, into the White House? You know what's gonna happen too, because we're smart. Pretty soon, what's it gonna be like a real Indian guy, president of the United States? 30 cars out front in the White House. <laughs> Only one of them works. Just abusing Air Force One, taking it to every powwow. <laughs> Work this week? I'm not working, it's feast day! <laughs> Mr. President, it was feast day last week. I know! <laughs> First time the White House will have a yard sale out front. <laughs> First lady, first lady, walking around with him, real big perm, <laughs> her sweatpants, her free shirt she got from the Just Move It. <laughs> I'm first lady. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys, uh, have you guys seen that show, MTV Cribs? On MTV? I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's like, uh, it's a show on TV where they go into like celebrities' houses and then they show like, you know, this is their house, it's really big, it's a mansion, and this is like, the I was like, wow, I wonder what it would be like to win an MTV Cribs for Reyes. <laughs> MTV Reyes Cribs for Indians. Man, I'd be bad. They probably couldn't even find a house and they were trying to look for it, you know? <laughs> I don't know, Kevin. It says... Uh, does the GPS work? GPS? On Star? I'm getting scared, Kevin. <laughs> uh, they finally pull up to the house. All the dogs jumping all over. <laughs> hey, res dogs, you know? They're traveling like gangs. <laughs> Like five of them out there, ribs all showing. <laughs> Haven't eaten like two days, three days. Man, jumping all over the car looking inside. It's gonna feed us, it's gonna feed us, it's gonna feed us. I come outside. Chef! Chef! Hey MTV! I'm to talk Leeds, welcome to my crib. Come on in, we'll show you around. And they follow me in. Gotta go up the steps here. Just kind of, just jump on that one. Just jump, because that one's not really there. Just gonna jump up. <laughs> Screen door's broken. Don't worry about that. Come on in. Man. Let me, uh, let me show you around my house. This is, uh, my <coughs> mom's <coughs> double Y chateau. It is a three bedroom and two bathroom. Only one of the bathrooms is working right now. <laughs> the other one's uh, going under renovation for the past two years. <laughs> uh, oh, Tatanka, there's, there's somebody in the shot there, right? Uh, he's peeking in, in the shot. 
Oh, oh that's, that, that's just my cousin. He's staying here for a while until he finds a job. Those are his kids. And that's his mother-in-law. <laughs> Come on in here, never mind. Come on in here. Come on into the kitchen. Come on into the kitchen. All right, MTV Cribs. I know how you guys always like to look in people's refrigerators, see what they're eating, what's inside. Come on over here. Let me I'll show you my refrigerator. <sighs> Just glowing like this. This is uh, this is my spam. This is my bologna. This is my cheese. I'm sponsored by Shasta, so that's all filled up right there. And these plates here, covered in tin foil. Uh, my family brought me these plates from uh, different uh, dinners from over the weekend. Some from a wedding. Some from a funeral. From my niece's birthday, and that's from feast day right there. I'll get to those later this week. Man, you know us, us skins, man. That's what we're known for, taking plates. Right? Bring me a plate. We're known worldwide for that. It's our trademark. Man, love it too. It's like, my mom, I always tell my mom, bring me a plate wherever you go. I don't care what they're serving, just bring me a plate. She said, Honey, son, son, I'm gonna go to your cousin's birthday. We'll be back later. Bring me a plate. Bring me two plates. I'm hungry. And bring me some cake too. So, of course we go and show up. We don't even take anything. Show up with no food, no gift. Just a bunch of people with us, big old entourage. Where's the line at? Where's the line? Go get in line. Start filling up right away. Say to my auntie, hey auntie, I haven't seen you in a while. It's good to see you. Would you, uh, you want some mashed potatoes? Give me lots. Give me lots. And put some in these ones too. They're for your cousin. And that one's for his girlfriend. And this one's for my boyfriend, your new uncle. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna take these plates. Tom, bring me some foil so I can wrap these up, okay? <laughs> uh, thank you guys. You guys have been a good crowd tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for coming out. Just want to open up the gates I really appreciate you guys listening to me. I'm gonna introduce them now. I think they should be dressed by now. <laughs> they were walking around in little little thongs back there. <laughs> Deer skin thongs. <laughs> See, I never seen them before. Please give it up guys for the kings of comedy, James and Ernie!